Hey, what is going on guys? It's Chris here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make an automatic farm using dispensers. The farm is extremely efficient, very easy to make, and it can be used with wheat, carrots, potatoes, all that kind of stuff. So let's get straight to it. So this is the farm itself. It has pads which grows the plants on top of them, and then the dispensers at the end which will dispense a bucket of water which will obviously wash these crops off as soon as they're grown. So, how to make this? Basically, you need to make these platforms here. Platforms of dirt, which are 8x8 eight eight blocks in the bottom. On the bottom platform alone, and 7x8 eight blocks on the upper platform. So, as you can see, it is only 7 blocks long here, and that is extremely important. And you'll see why in a minute, just as I hit this dispenser. And I hit the button, which will dispense the water. So as you can see, it activates these dispensers, which will obviously push off these ungrown crops, which you should wait till they're grown. And because these are only seven block long platforms, the water actually extends over the top onto the next platform, drops down and resets, so it can travel another eight blocks. Basically how water works. On the last platform, however, you want it only eight blocks, because then it ends right here, and then it ends on this line, and then obviously the water sources here can go ahead and transfer the loot into the hoppers. You can have a hopper collection system. I think hoppers are the best way to do it because then you can have all your items stocking up into a chest. So we're going to go ahead and hit this button to stop it, to stop the water. Now, with this design, you will have to wait, obviously, a few seconds for the loots to drop through. And you can make it as big as you want, provided the bottom platform is 8x8 eight eight, and the higher platforms, so the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc., are 7x8. So 7 wide or 7 long, 8 wide. Um, you don't have to have them 8 wide, it's just efficient that way because that's the most, that's the largest you can have it because the water, which is underneath these, only travels 4 blocks. And so, in either direction, so it would travel 4 blocks this way, and the other side will travel, the water will travel 4 blocks this way and keep the ground hydrated. Obviously you want to keep the ground hydrated because otherwise it's a pain in the ass having to rehydrate it to plant. Then you can just go along and replant all your stuff with the seeds that you get in the chest and use the rest of the seeds for chicken breeding. Now, you need to place the redstone. The redstone is like shown. You don't have to use this exact design. Just basically have a line of redstone along probably the top of the water is the most efficient design. And then comparators every... Not comparators, sorry. Repeaters every now and then to extend the redstone line strength to increase the strength again. And then obviously you can place redstone on top of dispensers. Place a water bucket into each of them and you'll be fine. Now this design actually also works with nether warts with the introduction in, I believe, 1.5 or 1.6 that allows, and maybe it's actually 1.4, oh well, who cares, it allowed nether warts to grow in the overworld. So as you can see, there is nether warts growing on this nether sand, and this is actually even easier because you don't need water for nether warts to grow, and you can't ac accidentally trample crops. So then it just works the exact same way, just brushes off, pushes these, Nether warts into the stream and then into the chest at the end. This is both very easy to do and you probably won't actually want to make anything bigger than this for nether warts because you don't really need that many nether warts. But I hope you enjoyed. Hope you use this farm in your own builds. It is really helpful and really useful. It saves a lot of time harvesting things manually. And leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.